Okay, this is the quick turning hint video. Um, if you got a bit stuck, this is how you do it. Um, I've just created a new script here that's very much the same as our moving forward when the up arrow is pressed script, except it says forever if key right arrow is pressed. So the right arrow means we want to turn to the right, which is clockwise. So we choose the clockwise arrow, turn 15 degrees. And that's for the right arrow, but we've got nothing for the left arrow yet. So what we can do is right click this script and duplicate it. There we go. And all we need to do is change that from if key right arrow to left arrow. And we need to get rid of the clockwise 15 degrees and replace it with the anti-clockwise. So now we should have turning. Quite tricky turning as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the numbers on those to say 10. Let's turn them down a bit so that the steering isn't quite as sensitive and we can start to steer around. It's still a bit tricky around that those corners but there we go. So that's how to make your car turn. Now that we've set our car up and we've made it drive and turn like so, um, we want to add an incentive for our player to drive well. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a point system and you're going to lose points if you drive on the green grass. So this happens in a few stages and we're going to use um, variables for this. So we need to create our own variable first. So we use this dark orange tab here and make one. Let's call it score and make sure it's ticked for all sprites. Click OK. And you can drag this score meter up and around. I'm going to put mine over here so it's slightly out of the way. Um, we want the score to start at 100 and go down every time you ground, drive on the grass. So we always do this on the stage. So let's click the stage and add a new script when the green flag is clicked and choose set score to 100. There we go. So if I click the green flag, there, my score starts at 100. Now what we're going to do is to the car, we need to add um, a collision script so that when the car collides or touches the green grass, something happens. And that something is that our variable is going to go down. So we've got our car scripts here. I'm going to add a new one when the green flag is clicked. And again, we're going to have a forever and an if. And we need to sense. Now, there isn't a name for this green area. It's not called grass and we can't in Scratch call it grass. So what we're going to do is do something quite cunning and use the touching colour sensing. Click on the colour box and click on the green grass. So it's forever if touching colour green and then we want to change score by and we're going to have minus one. We want it to go down. So let's see what happens. Click the green flag. I'm not touching the green grass. I'm all right. I do start touching the green grass, my score starts going down. So I need to turn around and I need to get off there. Now you'll notice what's happened there. My score has gone into the minuses. We'll sort that out in a second. But if we click the green flag, because we've got a script here, set score to 100, it will automatically go back to 100 at the start. So that's how to create a variable. Have a little play around with it and see if you can get it to work.